BLM doesn't even want Harris. How about you? <laughs> That's surprising, isn't it? Look, Black Lives Matter, of all the groups out there, they're the ones that want to be able to vote and actually decide who their presidential nominee is going to be. Yeah. And so you know what's so interesting about it? And I hope people were paying attention. When they were doing these phone calls, right, these racial phone calls, black women on the phone for Harris, white women on the phone for Harris, if you notice, only 40,000 black women were on the phone for Harris, where it was over 100,000 white women on the phone for Harris. That is because many black women and men are not fans of Kamala Harris. Uh, we've been talking about this for years now. She just laughs and laughs. She doesn't get anything done. And if you notice, she started this this presidential run now without a single policy. She doesn't even have a platform, Dan. And this is what she wants to run on. And then on top of that, they're trying to pass her off as she's some kind of black woman, where for a long time she's been saying she's an Indian American woman. Right. And she has been wearing that title proudly. And so, yes, Black Lives Matter and many black Americans are not excited about her presidential run. What's the woman's policy? She doesn't discuss it. All she does is rip Trump and say, I was a prosecutor. And by the way, you were a crappy prosecutor. I've lived in California for two decades. I know how your record as an AG and as a prosecutor up in the Bay Area, and pardon me, you sucked at it. And Californians hated you for it. So let's talk your background as far as your professional political career and your policy. You have none. And it's also say you were appointed the border czar and you did promote the fund that was providing bail for people that caused the summer of love, all the riots. Those are facts, even though the left doesn't want us to talk about that. But let's go on to the border, Kimberly, because that one to me is one of the biggest. She cannot run away from the fact that over 12 million illegals have been allowed in, 80, 90,000 kids are missing, and we've got... 100, 200,000 people dying from fentanyl, and she was put in charge by Joe Biden, wasn't she? Absolutely. And the New York Times pointed out here in the state of Maryland, the Baltimore region is the capital when it comes to uh, overdose deaths in the country. And so we are, are the number one uh, city in America that is dealing with the fentanyl crisis. Uh, right now, they're reporting on Fox 45 Baltimore that 10 percent of our sexual assaults are perpetrated by illegal immigrants. Mm. And the last time I was on your show, Dan, we were talking about the mother of five, Rachel Moran, right. that was killed by the illegal immigrant that was allowed to just cross our border. And he went and actually sexually assaulted and killed other individuals in his country as well. 